Good morning, and welcome to another installment of Casey's Motivational Movement, where today, I just want to talk briefly about prayer. Prayer and meditation. You know, years ago, I remember the other day, I was just kind of looking, looking back over my life, and I thought about a time when I grew up in Bootsbach, Germany. I was just a little kid. One thing I used to love about Bootsbach, Germany, is the snow days. The snow would pile up three to four feet high, and school would be canceled, and that was always a great thing. Now, I remember one particular snow day, I went out to play, and on this particular day, my mom had trusted me with the key for the first time, the house key for the first time. So this particular day, I went out and I played practically all day in the snow until it was almost just starting to get dark. And at that time, I went to the house. And as I made it to the house, I realized that I didn't have my key. And not only did I realize that I didn't have my key, but my mom as well realized that I didn't have the key. And I felt real bad, but I felt even worse when my mom said, boy, you better get out there and find that key. And don't come back to this house until you find that key. What's a little kid to do? It hadn't been no more than about five or six at the time, but it was just basically just in the front yard there looking for the key. But the thing about it is, Again, it just started getting dark, and all the whole yard was nothing but snow. The whole field that we were in was filled with nothing but snow. For, for a long stretch, all you could see was white. Now, as I looked for that key, I looked and I looked and I looked for that key to no avail. I couldn't find that key. But in the back of my mind, I kept hearing, get out there and find that key. And don't you come back to this house until you find that key. Now, again, the dilemma that I was in is the dilemma that many of us on several occasions find ourselves in. We can either do one or two things at this time. We can either panic or we can pray. They used to have a saying back in the days, said, if you're going to worry, don't pray. But if you're going to pray, don't worry. And that's exactly what I began to do at that time. I began to pray, oh God, please, please God, help me find this key. Because I knew my mom was serious about not letting me come back to the house. Well, maybe it's not so serious, but I, I, at the time I, I figured there was no way I was going to be able to get back in the house without that key. So I prayed, and as I prayed, the funny thing began to happen. After all that looking and all that searching for that key to no avail, as I began to pray earnestly, full-heartedly, as I began to pray and ask God to help me find this key, you couldn't have told me any different. I, I believe that on that day, the skies opened up. And God shone just a little bit of light, moonlight, just a little bit of light, just enough for me to find that key that day. And as I looked down and as I saw that key with tears in my eyes, I couldn't do anything but thank God. And see, that was years and years ago. To this day, I prayed and I prayed several times. And as I prayed over the years, you know, you can't talk prayer without talking faith. As I've prayed over the years and as God has answered my prayers over the years, my faith has grown to such a, a strong state right now that I have full confidence in God. As I send up my prayers, I believe that he answers prayers. God is still in the prayer answering business, and I truly believe that. So when you're ever stuck in a situation, again, you can have, you have two choices. You can either, one, panic, or two, pray. I hope that you'll choose prayer. Now, the second part of this is meditation. And I heard it said this way one time. I heard it said that prayer is us speaking to God. And see, meditation is us receiving God's word. 
Now, I know a lot of people say, you know, that's, that's fairly new in our culture, but meditation has been around for years and years and years. Prayer and meditation. Now, as you meditate, I suggest you try this, you know, starting off early, maybe do it 10, 5 to 10 minutes. And then as you get a little better at it, maybe go 10 to 15 minutes or 10 to 20 minutes, and then ultimately 10 to 30 minutes. This is what you do. Our mind has so many things going on at any given minute. We have so many thoughts that's going through our mind, but a lot of times we don't recognize all them thoughts because our subconscious mind is really running the show. It's doing the things that we do on a consistent basis and form habits doing those things so much to the fact that we're doing habitual things and it frees up our mind to think several other thoughts. That's why I always talk about being the watcher of the watcher. You have to be able to watch your thoughts. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to find a quiet place. A quiet place because I believe that God speaks in stillness. He speaks in quiet places. So find that quiet place where you have no distractions, no different thoughts in your mind. And free all those thoughts in your mind and just have a blank slate as you meditate on the word. Now, again, I believe that prayer and meditation are two strong keys and two powerful impacts on what we call this motivational movement. Now, I guarantee if you begin to do these things and you begin to do these things consistently, pray, meditate. At least, at least 10 to 15 minutes every day, you want to be able to meditate. And again, meditate on the word. God will always answer your prayers if you allow him to, if you are, are discerning on his voice, if you can guarantee, if you can watch for his voice and listen for his voice, his voice will be, uh, his, his voice will be something that will, will shine through and, and come through and speak directly to your soul. It'll speak directly to your spirit and you'll know that it is God. So again, two powerful methods, prayer, and that's us speaking to God and meditation, and that's us receiving the word. Find that quiet place for about 10 to 15 minutes. And again, as you do it more and more, you'll feel more and more comfortable with it. And maybe you might even want to do it two or three times a day. Just meditate. Just feel God's goodness. Look out into nature, which is perfect in every means. Look out and enjoy the goodness and the fullness of God through prayer and meditation. Remember, when it comes down to it, you got two choices. Either you can panic or you can pray. And today I hope you'll choose prayer. Until next time, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Stay blessed.